everyone ready for another update in the long, winding, and confusing tale of my bugs on Surface Duo 2 after the Android 12 L update? Well, I hope you are, because that's what I have to bring to you guys today. To catch everybody up that is not aware, Android 12 L came out. It was really, really good. I made a review video. I said it was really, really good. About seven, eight, nine days later, I started experiencing crazy, crazy bugs. Everything from my phone ringing, but no ability to answer it. The phone just vibrating over and over like it was ringing, but nothing was there. It, in fact, was a phone call trying to come in, but it just that's all it was getting. A uh, phone call showing up on my watch, but no ability to answer them at all. Nothing going on on the phone. Text messages not being sent or received. Notifications not appearing. The status bar freezing, the charging status up in the corner, not updating correctly, the time not updating correctly, the Play Store not loading, apps not being able to be installed either by the Play Store or via side loading, and I'm sure that there are probably some more I could mention. It was a lot. There's a lot going on. So, I did what any reasonable person would do. I factory reset the device, and no, I did not do a cloud restore. It was a fresh install. Factory reset, no restore. I reinstalled my applications, I got everything back set up, and within minutes, there were those bugs once again. And they were really, really bad this time around. Like, they were actually worse after the factory reset than they were before. It was crazy. Like, every 30 minutes, things would just completely lock up. No notifications, no ability to send or receive text or phone calls. That's like everything just ground to a halt. I started then uninstalling updates on particular apps. Apps I thought might have been the culprit, right? To begin with, I was on the beta version of Google Messages and the Google Phone app. So I unenrolled from the beta. I uninstalled all updates. This did not fix it. I looked at the carrier services. I uninstalled all updates. Anything you could think of that made sense that, you know, something could have caused this problem, I uninstalled it. My thinking was that this update had been installed for over a week before these problems started. So maybe, just maybe, it was something to do with the third-party app update. So like I said, Factory reset made sense, and then uninstalling anything that was updated around that same time also made some sense, but that did not help. From there, I grabbed my phone, I went to my computer, I downloaded Android 12 L from Microsoft via their recovery page. I plugged in my Duo to my computer, and I did the ADB side load and recover, and I reflashed Android 12. I came out of that, and everything was still just as bad. I factory reset one more time, and this time... The biggest difference was I didn't update any apps. I actually went into the Play Store and disabled automatic updates. Now, I did install the apps I needed to use on a daily basis, but the system apps, the ones that were pre-installed, I did not let them update. And then I spent the next day and a half going into the Play Store and one at a time updating all of these apps. This, this was the full list. YouTube is cut off there, but it was, it was the last one. So I started updating them to see if at any point... It would be like, hey, I just updated carrier services and now everything just went to you know where and okay, that means it was carrier services, which was the problem. I went through this process and I was whittling my list down and nothing was happening. In fact, at this point, my Duo 2 was running tremendously well, as well, if not better than it was at the onset of Android 12 when I first installed it. So I'm whittling down and whittling down to finally get it down to these three applications, carrier services, messages, and phones by Google the ones that I thought were the highest risk. And I know I said phones by Google. It's not plural. It is singular. I thought these were the most dangerous applications, theoretically. And then I installed the updates on those as well, and nothing happened. My Duo is running perfectly. Almost perfectly. I'll address the almost perfectly here in just a moment. Phone calls are fine. Receive many phone calls. Texts are sending and receiving fine. Apps are installing. Everything's fine. It's running absolutely brilliantly. And as you can see here, none of the bugs I was seeing have reappeared. At this point, this was November the 12th. The last two nights, and now I can actually say the last four nights, I'm losing about 5% of my battery overnight. So my standby battery drain is significantly better than it was before on average. The issue that I discussed at this moment in this video... If I am in this situation here with one app open and then no app on the other screen... After about a day, that right screen will start to just feel sluggish scrolling. Now, if you use something to display the FPS or to display the frame rate of, or I should say the refresh rate of the screen, it will say that there are no problems. But I can see it with my eyes. It looks like a 60 hertz, basically. It looks like a 60 hertz display, and it, it's not. 
Keep in mind, what you're seeing here is the screen being wirelessly streamed, so it's always going to look a bit janky there. Okay, it looks worse here than it does in person. But here's what's really strange. Get something scrolling and then open up another app on the other screen. And as soon as that app is loaded, the scrolling becomes instantly smooth as butter again. And as soon as I close this other app, the scrolling starts looking like 60 hertz again. It starts looking rough again. So that was a very, very strange problem. And that is gone. Totally, totally fixed. So like I said, in some ways, things are actually better. Now I have seen, I tweeted this just a little while ago. I've seen two UI bugs that have popped up. This one here, I was in phone mode and I tried to do the corner swipe to do Google Assistant. And what I thought I was doing was long, uh, swipe it up and hold and you go into the recent apps. But it kind of carried the app because I was at an angle. It kind of carried it to the middle and everything just froze. I opened it up and this is what I was seeing and nothing was responding. Like I could go into my app drawer, but I couldn't launch any apps and I couldn't do anything. I rebooted and it, it was fine after that. This is another one that just happened to me once where all my apps got stuck over here, open, close, phone mode, and I just went in and forced close Microsoft launch or reloaded and it was fine. So those are the only two bugs I've seen during this process. If we go back to when I first did this, all the way back here, factory reset again, now that I've reflashed, so that's several days now and everything is absolutely perfect, perfect-ish. So I don't know what to make of this, right? Like I have absolutely no explanation to bring to you as to the mechanisms for why this is occurring. Okay, I, I can only speculate. Is there a difference between running the update normally and side loading the update. Perhaps, perhaps there's something that is different about the way that is done. However, that didn't fix my device. I had to do the side load and then do the factory reset. The factory reset alone did nothing for me. The side load alone did nothing for me. It was only both of them in conjunction, one followed by the other, that seemed to fix things for me. So this is my this is the, the closest that I'm not going to give you any any advice. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just not because I can't guarantee anything that's going to work. All I can tell you is what I did. I sideloaded the update via ADB and I have a video explaining how to do that. I'll link it down below. And then I factory reset and then I, re I just set things back up from there and I'm totally fine. Will that help you? Will that fix your problems? I don't know because I don't know why that helped in, in the first place. So I can't possibly tell you if I think it's going to help you or not. All I can say is that I am using my Duo again and have been doing so for several, several days now. And I am pleased as can be to tell you that it is running tremendously well and I am loving my duo again. I don't know what to make of this. And unfortunately that's where I kind of have to leave this video because I just don't have any more to say. I've told you what I did and I've told you where I am now. Make of that what you will and uh, do with your device as you see fit. I will, like I said, put a video down below about how I did the side loading. You know how to factory reset. Don't use a cloud update just to be on the safe side. And if you decide to go through this process, make sure everything is backed up because obviously a factory reset does delete your stuff. The side load doesn't, but the factory reset will. And if you do try this and you have some success, let me know in the comments. Maybe we can build up a lot of reports of people saying, Hey, that fixed my problems too. Maybe we don't need to know why it's working. We just need to know that it is and we can just roll forward with it for now. Hopefully Microsoft has an update to push out very, very soon. Typically, they push out an update right the exact same time that I'm posting a video like this. They'll then post their update because that's just how things tend to go. So maybe that will happen again and we'll talk about that when that does happen. Guys, if you're new here, subscribe so that you don't miss more. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, Stay nerdy, man.